Hey guys, it's Sweet Moon Bubble. How are you? Um, it's been a while since I did a vlog and um, a heart to heart talk. Um, so I'm just feeling like doing a little talk with you guys today. And um, it's currently 2 a.m., almost 2 a.m. where I am. I don't know why every time when it comes to vlogs, it's like around 2 a.m. Uh, but yeah, I would love to um, talk with you guys a lot of things, um, uh, life, friends, hardships, uh, relationships, and um, some future plans in today's vlog. Uh, so a little disclaimer before I... Um, go in with the um today's um vlog. Um, uh, firstly, I feel I feel like uh, um, it's been a very long time since I did a vlog and shared what I was going through because I feel like it's a little weird for me and kind of unusual um to talk with you guys because it has been. Um, it's been really hard for me to share with not only you but anyone um, you know the hardships that I have been uh, what I've been going through and the hardships I've been going through um, so uh, because of that um, uh, because of that I think um, I will I might stutter or I might like miss some important points um, so which is why I kind of like um, I wrote some stuff like points down so I can like share with you guys more clearly um, Anyways, um, firstly, uh, the reason why I want to talk to you I want to have like a more true a long truthful talk Today about life and how I'm going through uh, the reason is because uh, I had a thought today and I feel, I suddenly feel like that I am holding back on a lot of things um, that has been happening in my life. Um, I didn't really share with anyone and um, just really holding back a lot. And the thing is, I don't really like holding back too much to the point where, you know, I become all isolated you know and stuff like that but um uh so i feel like uh i just feel like i haven't done a vlog with you guys for so long and it's not really um for me i feel like it's not really healthy that i haven't done one for so long and um so yeah and also the second thing is that um this like video this vlog today is not going to cover everything that has happened um for that if i have to cover everything that happened that would probably take like um more than like 10 hours to talk about because there's so many little things that has happened that uh that i will probably not be able to cover but i'm going to try and cover the most um important things in today's vlog. Firstly, what I have been up to in life and um, what happened. So, some of you guys may have known um, that uh, I've been talking about um, what I've been through, friends, relationships, um, some changes and stuff like that. And some of you guys have been um, new and kind of like could tell from updates that um, I have a lot of changes with friendships and um with people who i have been um originally very very um close with uh very um uh yeah that um i just uh drifted apart from um i want to keep a lot of them private but um all i want to say is that yes i have been um uh lost to some uh uh, very important people in my life and um, uh, 
<laughs> by all means, it wasn't my fault at all, by all means. When I think about it, it was just because of circumstantial things. I don't want to go too deeply about it, but the first times it had happened, um, it took a very, very deep, very deep emotional toll on my life. Um, I, um, I, yeah, I just felt like, um, you know, there was no end in sight, and I just, um, relationships, because of that, I just felt like, ever since I came back from overseas, from China, I just felt like my, um, relationships were very rocky, and, um, it was so hard, so, because of that, I try to take solace in, um, making content, in, um, um, in working and trying to, you know, work on myself a bit more. Um, recently, I think you guys have also known that, um, I had this other really, really good friend, and, um, we got into a kind of like a, it, it kind of felt like it was a drift apart, but, um, luckily, uh, after a few months or so, apparently I misunderstood the situation, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was just that the, that friend really needed some space, because she was going through a really hard time. Um, and then we eventually, we, um, we reconnected, and, um, yeah, she's still really busy right now, but luckily, um, that, friendship was saved so um uh but obviously when it when there was a first drift apart with that friend i i was in shambles obviously because i've just lost some of the most important friends in my life bef uh, just a month or two before that so which was why when that happened afterwards i was in absolute shambles because that was like um that friend was like also one of my very very one of the very um pretty much like um most closest people I had in my life so that's why I felt um I was in um I, I was not feeling in um quite a shambles in terms of my friendships and um like that have I made have I made some new friends uh well yes and no um i have met met some new people i have tried to you know ever since that happened i actively tried to talk to people who are like i you you know i'm i that i don't usually talk to and um i think my circle has expanded a little bit to more of like different people now it's not the same kind of people because um i feel like um, it's nice to get a different perspective on your uh, situation and stuff from people outside of your circle. So, that's what happened. Um, uh, moving on, um, we have, uh, have, uh, share a little bit with you guys, um, with work and, yeah, hardships. Um, so, um, I have been sharing with you guys for a long time in terms of work, um, and yeah, it's been, uh, work has been very hard and tough on me. There's a lot of things I would love to talk about, but because I only have a very short time in this vlog, um, just might share the most important, um, most hard, um, hardest things at work that I have found out. So in terms of work, what I'm doing is I'm helping an influencer company and I'm sort of like a, uh, managing it and also at the same time I'm also a live streamer as part of the company as well um, so I need to do live streaming as well um, for a company and I'm also like helping to do marketing and managing all at once now if you think about it um, in terms of um, what kind of, how it kind of feels it's pretty much like you are the um, you are pretty much one of the managers of a company, like a marketing manager of a company, even though, like, you know, there's other people in the company as well. Um, I had a, um, I had a stressful period of time. Um, there was a period of time it was quite okay, but just only recently, 
um, I had some fallbacks. Um, I haven't been doing very well in my live streams. Um, been feeling a little depressed. Um, obviously because um, you know, um, I've stopped. I've been asked to stop um, for like about two weeks because suddenly like I wasn't smiling. Like it was, I didn't look okay. I wasn't smiling. I wasn't talking with the audience. I wasn't my happy bubbly self like before. Um, I'm guessing it's because, you know, like with the relationships and stuff falling apart and just me being confused what I want, where, where this is going. And it just took a, it finally hit me and um, I had a lot of health problems all at once. I didn't share with you guys, but I had an anemia, severe anemia which I almost, um, which I almost, uh, I just felt like, uh, a, it, it, it impacted me because there's some times where I almost, like, um, I fainted, kind of, like, just fainted out once my head hits the pillow, and it was so bad that I actually took a blood test, and, um, I haven't seen the results yet, but even after the blood test, um, I was so, like, headed and it really affected my work ethic and my energy on stream as well which is why like uh after all like um after people f like saw that i was no longer energetic i was no longer me on stream they decided to let me take a break and so these two weeks i have taken a huge break over um content over live streaming because of that because of my health and um i have been recuperating that um i don't like taking iron pills as i said a lot of times um and the doctors i haven't seen the doctors what what uh with what nutrients i'm missing but i'm feeling a bit better as um before and i think the issue with that was that when i was on stream i actually didn't know that I looked like that, that like there was something wrong, um, until people like I had monitors, like moderators, they told me that I had to stop because obviously something was wrong, and I didn't know that. Um, I didn't actually know that until like they told me, and I was looking at my own like re-recordings that something was wrong, and so because of that, like, um like uh i had to like kind of rethink kind of like refresh my mind on like what 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 i was working for and what i'm working towards and all that um i think some of, so for those who are wondering and i know some of you guys may be wondering why am i working in an influencer company and with live streaming and marketing um it's because i um i do wish to become a um full-time content creator one day and the main the sole reason is because i just want to get some real life experience in the um you know in the influence uh, as part of a uh, content creation in the content creation um field and yeah that's what our that's just what i'm passionate about <laughs> that's um that's the reason um also um yeah where do i want to go in the f um uh where do i go in terms of career i mean if um because this is a business obviously so recently because we we have ran into some um business problems and um um we have been really tight um the profits are um really tight as well like it's like people telling us like um you know um, we're not getting that much return and stuff like that so that has been also a really really tough because the thought of the business um, failing um, means that um, I need to readjust like I don't mind looking for opp other opportunities to grow myself like at most what I would do probably is work at a um video company where i can get experience in content creation or like music videos or something like that help them make music videos so i can one day make my own as well and like help with like um with making like generally content but 
that's not the issue. The issue for me was that um, the idea of uh, it failing meant two things. Firstly, it, um, I w- I'm working on this business for a whole year. Um, the whole year would have gone to waste. Obviously, it wouldn't have definitely gone to waste. But um, for me, it just feels like it would have really gone to waste. And um, the second thing is the readjustment. The idea of like um, uh, readjusting again, finding another path for me on my road. So that would be another, uh, that's another thing that's um, causing a lot of um, uh, issues and stuff. At the end of this year, we're going to have like, the company is going to have like a kind of like, um, what to say, like a reflection yeah on like how well it is doing whether um so that like you know to see if it's a stable if it has a stable future with the thought of that um at the same time um with my rocky with before with the rocky relationships um and with my health all going on at once and at the same time um i'm also learning trying to like study and learn as much as I can because you know like I I don't know if one day if like um the business crashes and I have nowhere to go so with all that in the last few months it has been um quite stressful and um kind of tired and for me as well and my room is super messy because of that uh but uh but yeah that's uh what's kind of been going on in terms of work um the positive note things have been kind of getting better now um but um yeah i'm sure over time things will get better but um the beginning it was um very hard and i'm next week i'm going back into live streaming so um it's just a new it's just a new process for me um uh, learning new things and um and all that um next ha- let's have a talk about um relationships and you know like love and stuff like that like when are you going to get a relationship or um are you dating or stuff like that um uh so um in terms of um like uh in terms of relationships it's really strange because like um when i was young i always thought that i would be in a um relationship um by now but uh because like i think um at like usually like i wouldn't mind when i see when i if i'm not in a relationship or like I'm not, yeah but uh i do have friends right now most of my friends are in relationships and you know you get this weird feeling of being pressurized to you know to to be in a relationship because your friends are in a relationship um uh, i don't know it's just that it's just that feeling of um yeah uh of like being forced to be into a relationship um in terms of relationships and love, am I in a relationship? Uh, no, I'm not in a relationship right now. Um, but who who do I want to date? Or like, what kind of person would I want to date? Um, I, I don't, the thing is, I don't reject relationships. Um, if there is one that's suitable for me, or if there's one coming for me, I don't mind. Like, I really don't mind. I, I am happy to try, like, to be in a relationship. Um, I, myself, um, I've never really experienced, a, like, a real, like, real tough, serious relationship before. So, like, for me, it's, like, all a mystery. I, I don't know how it'll be like. Um, do I have a person in mind or do I have a type of person in mind? Um, I think after some thinking <laughs> and some some really deep thinking, um, all I think uh, all I'm thinking right now in terms of relationship is like 
is that um uh as long as that person i don't really mind i mean like um what he looks like or what he's like um or what he you know what his favorite car brand is um i think i i care more about how he um whether he really like cares for me i care about his personality a bit more some someone who's more kind and thoughtful and um kind of like um is uh someone who's easygoing maybe um somebody like that um i uh, do i have someone in mind not really not really i think it's because like i just feel like um there's not anyone right now i'm ter- like i i I would like like or am interested in because um somehow I just feel like um I'm a little bit eccentric in terms of like you know who what I think guys are like like I have a really weird viewpoint like of the world <laughs> view of the world I don't know if you can relate to that and finding someone who thinks similar to me is um uh especially like a guy who may be interested in me is um is so hard it's so hard it's like um it's 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 so hard like i i don't know how people do it um and i have this friend who um you know i've heard of people who can just like so easily find someone who thinks the same way as them but i i don't know how they do it like for me it's just like a real mystery um so but if i if there is somebody in the near future in the far future um yeah i don't mind um i don't reject uh relationships and all that so yeah uh lastly uh i think i'm going to end up uh talking about what i want to do in the future in the near future um so um i think in the f- um future um because it's going to be december in 3 months um today i have been thinking about doing a christmas album as the usual um oh yeah guys i was holding this this is like a earring if you were wondering what it is <laughs> i don't know why but um yeah i'm thinking of doing a christmas album and uh a christmas album um i don't know if i can this year last year i was able to because i was so fixated i had so much like time to do the mvs and stuff so like i i think um like last year was so good and plus it's been like i feel like this year flew by so fast as well it's christmas again i feel like christmas was yesterday um but i um so this year because um there was a project i had promised the red apple which i had promised that i would finish the end of this year and did not happen i it did not happen and like it, it did not finish so i think that um i think that uh, and plus i have um i don't have that much projects planned but in terms of um not being able to be free like last year um i think uh i think i probably in terms of new christmas songs at most probably just one christmas single um to t- to bring you guys through christmas i know that really sucks but uh but yeah i, I but it's just uh i just don't really think i might have that uh much um that energy anymore as compared to last year to do so many of those MVs and stuff uh but um but I do have like I do have free time I think sometime during the new year and stuff um that I also saved something as well I don't know what that was oh yeah I I'm also working on another project and it's like a completely new new project and a little like I can give you a little spoiler but it has to do with the album which I've done a long time ago like months I I, pro- I think it was like 
in February this year with the uh, Mid Dream Circus. It has to do with that, but it's not um directly related. I, I don't think that's the first one I'm gonna do. Probably, um, that's gonna be the second project and related to that that I'm gonna do. But um, yeah, at end of the year where I'm going, my future plans. Um, it's almost the end of the year. Next year, what are my plans? Well, if this business is still running, like if I'm still doing live streaming, singing, I'll just continue to make content and try to, um, try to, uh, I mean, the biggest dream I have for next year is more time, uh, more, more content. Like, I want to spend more time on content next year. I feel like this year was a complete waste. Like, it was like a complete, like, um, disaster. Like, I really hope next year somehow, magically, I'm able to focus on doing content and doing more of the things that I love and stuff like that as as well. I was working on my channel and my music as well. Um, I'm trying to build my career up as well. Um, and also, I I really want to focus on my next year. I really want to focus on building up my career and trying to um trying to build a more stable like stabilize my career and build a more much much more stable career and having a you know um because um the reason is because um you know in terms of age it's not gonna be a few years until i reach my 30s yeah it's a uh, it's crazy thinking about that is absolutely crazy because the first time i posted on this channel i was only in high school i was in year 11 so thinking about that is um absolutely crazy but another reason is because i really want to travel like before my 30s like you know like Maybe one day I'm gonna get married and I won't have that much time to travel. So I really want to like um, save up to travel to the places I want to go because right now, if you if I want to travel right now, like because my career is so not stable, I literally cannot afford to go to the places I want to go and that's really sad because I don't want that in the next few years to happen because like. I feel like, you know, maybe I won't be in a relationship or anything. Gonna be like very alone, um, up to my thirties. So, like, this is the perfect time for me to go travel. But I, I can't even travel right now because my career is so unstable. So, I feel like next year I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time trying to build up my career, so that like maybe in the next, in the next years after that after. My content creation, um, um, content creation, and my career is more stable. I'll be able to travel more, and maybe even like make some travel vlogs and share with you guys. But the most important thing is that I want to be able to, um, to to travel and see other countries and um, kind of like have more adventure uh, outside. So I think that's um I feel like uh right now I feel like I I feel like having a safe career so that I can travel is like is going to be something really big for me next year like something that I'm probably going to be very laser focused on because like um you know you you never know because like maybe you're you suddenly have a lot of opportunities from overseas from other countries that you can never find in your own country so that's why um that's why i i really want to like save up so that i can go and travel and um go go around the world so i feel like um yeah that's pretty much it for what's um going on that um, so it's a very long talk today and probably won't be making another vlog like this until like maybe new year or the end of the year because um uh yeah it's just already been hectic and to have like it's 2 30 a.m to talk about this um so yeah um i'll see you guys soon and take care